Hey everybody, welcome to the channel Planting Birches. My name is Megan, happy to have you today. I'm going to a new store, la di da di da. I've been to the store we're going to maybe twice ever. It's been here for a little while and I'm sure that this is a store maybe that you've heard of before. I'm not totally sure. Let's see if we can get the name there. Oh, might be backwards. We're at the old High V. So this was kind of a fun store when it came in. When it first came in, I think people kind of compared it a little to like a Whole Foods on a much smaller scale, sort of. And I took you guys to the Harvest Market the other day, and I think it's somewhat similar. Maybe Harvest Market's a little bit next level. I'm not sure. We're gonna go in. I haven't been in a really long time. I've chosen to go on a rainy day. Why? I've also chosen to go on a Sunday. Why? Oh my gosh, there's so many people here, but that's what we're doing today. So we'll go through, I'll show you all the fun things and uh, we'll just have a great time. Be sure to stick around for our once a month grocery haul that will be coming very soon. I'm not shopping at Hy-Vee today. I'm just kind of showing you around because it's been a while. I know that they have a pharmacy. I've had some shots here. They have uh, food clearly. And they also used to have um, some different restaurant things. And now it looks like it's Wahlburgers. Have you guys ever had that? I don't know. It says buy high V. So I don't know if that's like only a high V thing across the little walkway over there is also caribou coffee, which is connected to their gas station. How many of you are caribou coffee people? Let me know in the comments. I was from Minnesota before I moved to Illinois and uh, Starbucks was just in the Barnes and Noble in the area where I was from. So Caribou was kind of our place and a friend of mine would go to Caribou Coffee a couple times a week and just hang out and chit chat. And that was in my high school days. When I moved to Illinois, I remember us looking for a Caribou here because that's what we were used to and we couldn't find one. It was only a Starbucks and we were sort of like, uh, it's not the same. But now I would say I probably lean a lot more towards Starbucks, but every now and again, the caramel high rise, oh man, it's so good. Uh, I probably only get it once every two years, like it's nothing big. So there's the gas station. This store offers some great perks for gas. And I think they have randomly, they'll do these like 12 hour gas things where they make it super cheap. Somebody told me, I think my sister-in-law, maybe it was three, 70 something which for right now is amazing but you can get little coupon things you can get points toward money off or gas or whatever I don't know all the details but it's pretty cool let's pop inside hopefully I won't be like a drowned rat when we get in there and I'll show you all around so I'm still sitting here in my car because I'm regretting not having brought an umbrella this morning I went to church this morning I was helping do some music at another church and so I didn't even think about the umbrella situation and I'm really scared because I know it's gonna be cold and I don't wanna be cold and then, you know, go into the, the grocery store, which is almost always super cold. Okay, let's just do it. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. So here's the outside. They've just got some plants. There's high V. there's the wall burger by high V. more plants. I'm really happy to see the green beans. I always love some good green beans and those look awesome. So do the red potatoes, okay. I'm not totally sure. $1.99 for the green beans is probably a little bit high. They do this comparison thing for a store nearby called Schnooks and it saves 50 cents compared to them. So that's interesting. If you see here on the bag, when you buy this, it says earn one cent off per gallon. So use the SKU number or the PLU number and then it'll go on your card if you have one. Strawberries are definitely pricier here compared to elsewhere. So $3.69 and I always have to know the price for strawberries. It usually tells me how much more expensive the store as a whole is, I feel like. If the strawberries are expensive, a lot of times the other things are quite pricey. This is kind of cool. So they put their specials of the week right here on the end cap. And that way you can just keep track of what things are on sale. That's kind of fun. I like that. Clever, very clever. Oh, they've got a combo box there. Okay. Their produce really does look nice. And there's this thing, make your perfect pick. hy wide selection of quality produce makes it easy for you to be as picky as we are. And I think these really look nice actually. It really does seem that they like to compare and save here quite a bit. So the signs are rather large telling you the difference between a store nearby and how much you're gonna be saving, which is interesting, really interesting. Everything looks pretty. This is kind of cool. Pick the perfect tomato. I always love when they do this. It kind of gives you an idea about how to use each kind of tomato. So you get the perfect one. Heirlooms are so good. For those of you that love organic, they have a certified organic area of all sorts of things. Potatoes and squash, tomatoes. I think those are avocados right there, apples. I 
think one thing to notice is that there's really wide aisles, which is nice here. So now we've got salads like going across the whole back wall and then more fresh things, peppers and cucumbers, those kind of things. But I love the really wide aisles, it's nice. So uh, the herb area is really cool. I've never seen these freeze-dried um, like herbs and things, but those are kind of cool. Very nice. And then they've got the fresh, polenta, the squeezables. Look at this beautiful wall of greens. And then they have the organic section too. So I love how clearly labeled that is. Tons and tons of greens. It's beautiful. Just like with the green beans, you have that fuel saver spot. So it says when you buy a, um, a purchase of one of the things that it says, you earn a cent off per gallon. And I think you can kind of uh, put those together and save a bunch of money. Okay, so you can get your fresh salads. This is a sandwich shop. They've got sandwiches, salads. This is Chef's Creation over here. Hot soups, dine-in or carry-out. Of course, they have these kind of quick grab areas. Guacamole, salsa, that kind of a thing. This is the cheese section. How many of you are getting excited about the amount of cheese going on right here? Look at this. Oh my word. Cheese for days, it keeps going. Wow, that is crazy. Smoked Gouda with jalapeno. All right. Lots of Gouda, 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 because it's Gouda, you know? <laughs> They've also got a nice little olive bar and it's $10.99 a pound. I have no idea uh, comparatively if that's a good deal, but all sorts of kinds. Do you see any here that you're like, yes, I love those. They've got all the labels back there too. I would have no idea. I can definitely smell the baking. There's lots of baking going on, baked area, yum. They've got seafood. They've got the butcher's area. There's lots of choices for meats and seafood here. They do have an area for like home cooking goods and things that you might need in the kitchen, pots, pans, that kind of a thing, all the way down. I wanted to go show you the bulk section. It's right here, right after you get outside of the produce section. And I think here you can make your own peanut butter. Let's go look, I can't remember. Maybe it's in a different spot, I'm not seeing it, but you can do all of your bulk items and then you can weigh them out, label them, that kind of a thing. They've got anything from nuts here. There's quite a few empty spots. Oh no, maybe they're just low. And then there's some more grains and stuff. Then we've got some candied items, yogurt, almonds, and that kind of a thing. They've got some that are already pre-packaged, which is cool. And a couple more pre-packaged items for you from the bulk section. Look at all the meat at the butcher shop. Wow. So this is kind of cool. After the butcher area, they have where you can just do like your own self-serve things. But then this is all the meats that are on special. And I think that's fantastic. They look really great, but you're also getting them on sale. So that's kind of nice. That could be like a budget saver for people. I like that. And then we're also going to go into all the other things. So lots and lots of things on sale. My goodness, look at this creamer section. Like this is serious creamer section, right? How many people love creamer in their coffee? I drink mine black. My taste buds changed after my fourth child. I just can't take it with cream in it anymore for some reason, which is weird. I never could drink it black before that, but then it became disgusting. It was so sad because a little creamer in there is kind of nice. Okay, you've got juices. Oh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of juice options, very cool. And then we're gonna come into the milk. They've got their silk. Let's see if they have lactate milk. There it is, ba ba bum. How much is theirs? $5, but they don't have like a store brand. Oh, there they do. It is store brand, but it's the same price. So not a savings at all. Way, way cheaper at Aldi for sure. But tons and tons of choices for people that are dairy free. Right across from the milk are the bacon and sausage kind of a deal, which is a great place. And they have a great variety, it looks like. So, yum. And it looks like they've got some on sale. Bacon has been really, really expensive. How about where you guys live? Then we've got eggs, and there's all kind of eggs. So there's Amish Family Farms beyond cage-free. I don't know what is beyond cage-free, but that's very cool. They've got brown eggs, they've got organic. I gotta know what this beyond cage-free means. Okay, so they're free range, non-GMO, one dozen, antibiotic and hormone free, local family owned and operated, open. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, it was getting busy over there, but the eggs are said that they really just let the chickens be out with the bugs and the sun and truly, truly are cage free. And so that's beyond cage free and they're really happy chickens. So thank you chickens for being so happy. 
Now we're gonna get into like the cottage cheese and the sour cream and the French onion dip. And they do have high B brands, 87 cents for sour cream, which is actually a pretty good price. And then once again, they're comparing to a store that's local. Um, although I think Schnooks is like a chain store. So then we've got butter. Let's see if what kind of butter they have though. Do they have the good stuff? Kerry Gold, some of you told me that I need to try that, which I have not done yet. Do they have Lure Pack? Well, they have my challenge butter, but that is a ridiculous price compared to what I normally pay. Like, well, before a little bit of inflation, I was paying with, usually I had like one little coupon that I would get and it would be like three something. So this is almost double. That is scary. And I searched, they don't have the lure pack, which you guys, by the way, I have been in love with. So I do like challenge butter. I'd love to try carry gold sometime. Uh, that's a little bit pricey for me too, but sometimes butter is just good that way. You know what I'm saying? On the other side, we've got yogurt for days. Look at all that. They've got the Hy-Vee brand. They have name brand things. Lots and lots of options to choose from. Oh, I've never seen these before. It's like a probiotic drink from Chobani. Okay. Lemon ginger, cherry hibiscus. What's this one? Peach mint. Ooh. Any of you tried those before? We're just continuing to follow the perimeter of the store. Oh, what is this? Tonichi? I've never heard of this brand. Or to Tonichi? Oh, don't be mad at those of you that know how to say this and I don't. That's a lot of cheese though. I would say that I'm not super cheesetastic. What about you guys? When the stuffed crust came out, I was disgusted by that. I remember biting into it and being like, what is in this crust? Gross. I'm just a light cheese kind of gal. It's just me, you know? We're kind of finishing up on the perimeter here a little bit, but I love this. There's a whole cabinet full of non-dairy ice cream. There might be some over here. Like, I don't know that Rebel is non-dairy. Oh, it's lactose-free, cool. So that's kind of nice that it's separate because over here is all of the, you know, regular ice cream and it makes it just easier when you know, hey, I can't do dairy or lactose, whatever. So it's nice to have that here. There's a small little section for gluten-free in the freezer section. Let's check it out. They've got their gluten-free breads. They've got breakfast items, you know, different things for all your gluten-free needs. And then it goes into regular entrees, meats, and that kind of a thing. I think this part's kind of fun. There's a lot of gluten-free um, items down these. So let's go check them out. I didn't realize that there were protein croutons. That is really something. So they're never fried, it says. But here we go, we've just got crackers, we've got um, croutons, there's all kinds of things. Nut thins, if you love those. I think this was something that when Hy-Vee came into town was really a cool aspect because we do have a small grocery store in town that does carry a lot of gluten-free items, but to have like kind of somewhat of a normal grocery store with so many aisles uh, dedicated to like non-dairy and uh, gluten-free and those kind of things is really, really something. So they've even got birthday cake, granola, Oh wow, never seen that. I've been heard of Enjoy Life. The kids I used to nanny for ate some of those things. And then we've just got, you know, the traditional things that maybe people enjoy um, when they're gluten free. Let's look on this side, okay. You know how we always have to look at the pasta. Pasta for days. So I heard that some of you, that when I say noodles, you know, we've had this discussion so many times, but it got even deeper the other day because they're like, when you say noodles, I think Asian noodles like ramen noodles and then pasta is pasta. So I'm gonna try really hard to stick with um, saying pasta. It's just not what I grew up saying. It's really weird, I know, but I'm special and I'm happy about it. My goodness, Bobo's, strawberry stuffed oat bites. That kind of sounds good. We have all kinds of things that you guys can choose from. We've got oatmeals and gluten-free pancake mix and Bye Bye Blues, organic granola. Cool. I've never seen these guys before. They're like little um, gluten-free bites. I've made them with chocolate and oats, honey, peanut butter, oh, so good. But you can't eat too many or you're not gonna feel well. So these are nice to be gluten-free. This area, by the way, is called the Health Market. Just this little bit, they've got keto friendly, all the things. Flackers, so they're kind of like crackers, but made with flaxseed. Okay, all right. Wisps, they've got um, different oat things that are shelf stable, which is cool. Tons of rice. 
there's Rayos, one of them for $10. You guys, I can get two of those for $10 at Sam's Club. Yikes, they're so expensive. Down this aisle, they've also got some superfoods that you can add, you know, chia seeds and flax, I'm sure is in there. Um, different green blends that you can have. And then they've also got some different drinks. Hydrant, you know. I know somebody that adds some hydrating stuff to their water in the morning time, and I don't know what the brand is, but I should look at that. It'd be interesting. Is there anyone that does that? You like to add something to your drink uh, in the morning, like water or whatever, to really give you that boost of hydration. What brand do you like? Tell me about it. Oh, that's funny. Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Chips. I've had their straws before. I've never seen them in chip form. That's kind of fun. I've had those down there. And then because this store has a pharmacy, they've got all the pharmacy items over here in this little corner. And they are amazing at this pharmacy, by the way. Um, they were dealing with like all the COVID shots and flu shots beautifully. Here's some of the hair care and body care. Look at all these little bath bombs. My daughters love bath bombs. They, um, they think they are a ton of fun and they're on sale. I'm not gonna buy any though, but they're kind of fun that they're loose like that and you can just pick the ones that you want. They have the more naturally minded soaps and washes, which is great, right next to the knot. <laughs> so you can get all the things you want. It's always nice to have a store that has just about everything that you can run in and grab, you know, your stuff for a, a gift for somebody. You can get a card if you need to. So that's nice to have that. Then over here, they've got their pet area and it's super well lit. You can get all your pet friendly things that you want. They also have a baby aisle and they've got a mixture of, you know, things that are more like naturally minded mixed in with maybe some of the more traditional items that people would buy. And then they've got their diapers, they've got baby food, they've got all a little bit of everything, which is always nice because when you need a couple things, uh, it's nice to be able to just pop in and grab stuff. It's not super, super stocked, like tons and tons and tons, although this isn't a too bad of a spot for baby food so there is something here you know if you need it real quickly I think just like anywhere you know you can get your sodas you can get your cleaning supplies they've got laundry needs taken care of over on this side they've got juices going down this aisle of course I'm attracted to the M&Ms these are a little bit different though milk chocolate with crisp rice center have you guys had those before what do you think you know I was gonna have to bring you down the pasta aisle and just have a look at it. So they've got a lot of Brilla, which I love, love, love. And that's nice to see that there's a couple different options. Brilla's been a little bit meager at some other stores, so that's nice. And I love the olive oil section. I always think it's so fancy. It makes you feel very, I don't know, European to see so many olive oils for some reason. I just like that. I kind of find it interesting. I'm in the baking aisle and I actually see a lot of high V brand things here in the baking aisle. I mean, there are some name brands like Jell-O, but they've got tons of uh, store brand. Even over here for the icing, there's a lot of store brand. There's also a lot of store brand when it comes to boxed cake mixes and stuff like that. So I don't necessarily see that at other stores or the stores that I shop at a whole lot, which is kind of nice to see. They've got a ton of King Arthur options. Well, not a ton, let's not get crazy, but they've got some. Ooh, even pecan flour, yum. This is actually really well stocked, even for a smaller store. Uh, Meyer hasn't been quite as well stocked in the baking area, so we'll see when I do my once a month how it looks, but this looks really nice and stocked. It's nice to see that, and it makes you feel like, okay, I can get the things that I need. Things in the baking aisle are definitely looking good. Look at the spices, so, so many options. Wow, nice, very nice. Oh well, look at this red pepper jelly. How many of you have had that? What do they put it on top of? Uh, cream cheese, maybe? Actually, it's the hot pepper jelly. I think you put it on top of cream cheese and then you can eat it with uh, crackers. How many of you have done that? I feel like that's like a pampered chef thing that I did as a kid. My mom went to all the little parties and I would go with her. And I won a lot of prizes because I learned all the ways that, all the things, you know, about whatever little party we were at. It looks like here they've got some store brand or it's called That Smart, which is looking like um, similar, like this one is crisp rice instead of Rice Krispies, and that's gonna save you a little bit, so that's good. They've got those kinds of things. They don't seem to have the, oh no, they do. There's the giant size. They don't seem to have the mega sizes, maybe, is what I'm thinking, but giant is still big enough. Oh, then they've got the high V one. So that other brand, I'm not quite sure how it would compare, but this is just the high V brand of like toasted corn, which would be corn checks, rice checks, that kind of a thing. 
So headed out to the end, um, I wanted to show you that they do have paper or plastic when you check out, which is great. And then they have fresh flowers here and they are just beautiful. It is so nice to see, I love that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed High V. I think some of the things that are really great about it is it's very bright inside and the aisles seem to have, you know, a good flow. There's enough room, especially in the produce area. They have tons of things on that outer like rim of the of the store that are nice. It's nice to see that fresh food and the fresh seafood and then to see how they've really marked out things that are for sale and that are on a special, which is fantastic. I think they did a nice job of putting things on the shelf and, and, and in the produce area, making that look really nice. It seems like there's really just a little bit of everything there for everybody. Now, do I feel like the prices really uh, are great? I think on some things, the price could be pretty comparable to what I would find elsewhere, but also some things are more expensive. And I guess that's just kind of what you do when you have multiple stores that you go to. You know, you're always trying to figure out who's going to get the best quality, but also the best price. So I love that they had a lot of store brand items. I think that's fantastic. A lot of times those are a lot cheaper. So that's fantastic. And, um, yeah, it was nice. It was a busy day. So I think it's a great thing. Do you have a high V in your area? Let me know about that. And I know some things have changed that I used to see in there. I thought you could make your own peanut butter there or your rolled almond butter. I know that wasn't just at Harvest Market. So, okay. Well, I hope that you guys have an amazing day and that you will come back for the once a month grocery haul that we'll be doing. And I'll, you know, go to all the stores. And uh, I think my sister's going to be with me for that one. So I know you guys like to have my dad with me and he did awesome, man. That was a lot of fun, but sister's back from her college, you know, trip or whatever that she did to go look at some colleges and now she's going to be with me so be looking out for that and all the other fun that we're going to be having if you don't already pop over to instagram come hang out with me over there at planting birches we would love to get to know you more i'm going to wrap this up because i bought this rhesus and they they probably had a smaller size but this one seemed to be the only one jumping out to me so i'm going to eat it and i'm going to enjoy it to the depths of me and then i'll talk to you very soon bye guys look at this i just saw we price match so that's pretty cool if you find it cheaper somewhere you can bring the ad in i'm sure you have to show some proof and then save some money that's kind of a cool deal <laughs>